Hey there, welcome back. So this is the one month CC account, you will die on the streets of Lungmen. And right now it is level 34 with no E2 operators. So as you can see, contingency contract has already arrived and I don't have any E2 operators. So how am I supposed to clear the daily? Well, simply said, I'm not going to be able to clear risk eight at all. On stream, I have already cleared it up to risk six. So that's what I'll be showing today. So for the risks that I selected, it's going to be these. Now, the reason why I select these risks is because, for one, having costs down, I don't have good enough vanguards that generate enough cost and time. I don't have Myrtle. So I can't choose this risk. I'm able to choose this particular six operator risk because I'm able to borrow an operator that can allow me to substitute with a lot of damage or anything that I'm missing, which it was damage in this case. I didn't have any problems with healing or stuff like that. Taking defense down means that I'm going to have a really hard time in the early game, especially since I don't have any operator that is offensive enough to kill the wolves that come on this map in time. So with that in mind, the squad that I went with was actually this squad, and I borrowed a Ifrit, which you will see right over here. Now, because I don't have any E2 operators, I'm not able to borrow anything that's E2, so I was only able to get away with using an E1 level 80 Ifrit. But, what I, what I did use, or should I say, let's take a look at the operator's skills and whatnot. So, you already, as you can see, you already see the levels, E1 level 50, and all of the skills are all actually rather low. Again, this account is only 17 days old, and you don't have that many resources to put into the accounts, uh, to, to put into the operators. So, as you see, as you look on, you'll see like all of them are rank 2, rank 1, maybe rank 3. Also, this is pr pretty interesting. I We tried using Telops' skill 2, but it was actually too powerful and wasn't up in time to do a second round to delay or to out heal the, the uh, mages that deal the damage over there, not to also rank 3 on the skill. So instead what we took was skill 1, which was actually just enough healing to take it over the edge and over heal the damage that the mages did. Masima skill 2 was taken just for that one little bit of extra DPS and well, for that extra little bit of burst DPS and a little bit of CC just to push us over the edge of that of a big wave that comes right at the end of the game of the map and then Hoshiguma skill 2 for consistently high damaging effects to the enemies that attack her but anyhow let's begin Oh right, another thing that I want to mention is Ifrit is just really overpowered in this map. If you have an Ifrit, if you're able to field her, which you might not be able to if you have the cost down, which is another thing that you might want to watch out for, absolutely insanely useful. So we're just going to place Courier as soon as possible right at the little toppy corner over here. Placing him over here means that he's not going to get hit by the AoE casters. Now. You might want to place down Plume down, but instead what we're using Plume as, we're, uh, sorry, we're using Plume as a drop down guard, kind of like Melantha or Scatty, but because I don't have enough resources to level either of them, and I don't have Scatty at all, I'm going to use Plume as the ganker. But for now we're just going to let the mage go away, go on, go on its own way. Now if you look over here, we still have one wolf attached to Courier. But there's two wolves incoming, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down Hoshiguma and block them. She's going to get hit once or twice by the mage, but that doesn't really matter. Now at this point, you can either choose to take out a healer, or you can wait just a little bit and put down Ifrit. That's exactly what we're going to do. High consistent damage. We don't need Mastima for right now. Alright, so next up, the mage is going to come up soon, so we're going to need some heals. So that's our next step. If I had E2s, this would be a lot more simpler and I could actually clear Risk 8, but for now, because we don't have Risk 2, that's what's going to happen. So what I did over there is I'm going, just going to place down Plume right on the mage so that she can gank her and hopefully, in, still in range of- yep, it's still in range of different. Hopefully we'll be able to tank it up in time. 
As soon as the mage is killed, we're going to retreat Bloom. Right. No. Perfect. So now let's place down Masima. Right over here where Mush uh, Hoshiguma is going to tank everybody. And we're going to retreat Koryu because he's not going to be used anymore. I'm not going to be greedy and get that extra cost because it doesn't really matter. I can deploy anybody as soon as they're ready. Now at this time, at this point, there should be a second mage incoming. So when the second mage comes, I'm going to want to pop Telopsis' skill. Because E1 level 40 Telopsis does not outheal the AoE damage that the mage deals. So the mage comes, let's pop our skill, and we heal it right back up. Just enough with with skill on plus fifty percent attack, four hundred twenty three attack, and we're just gonna wait. So now the timer comes to the comes to where Plume is almost can almost be redeployed, and we're just going to wait until the caster comes to that exact spot. Because if I place her early, she's going to latch onto the wolves, and the wolves are going to absolutely shred her apart. So let's wait a little bit. Time it correctly. Alright, caster is in the place, and I'll place down Courier too. Now, the reason why I'm able to... Well then, I guess I might as well add that in. The reason why that didn't work was because, again, Plume latched onto a wolf, which wasn't supposed to happen, and everything falls apart. So, let's try this again. Let me clip this out, and then we'll redo this again. Big sigh. So, since you guys already seen what's going to happen at the beginning, I will start explaining other scenarios on which, like, what you can do if you don't have the certain operator. Well, Courier you'll, you'll definitely have, but I think Fang can also suffice. If you don't have somebody like Hoshiguma, um, well, honestly, you don't really need Hoshiguma. If I wanted to say, I would say that using somebody like Gumi or Neural or Saria might be an even better choice because you can actually delay deploying your healer of course, this is assuming that you borrow Ifrit, of course, or if you have an Ifrit, you can borrow somebody else. Um, either using Saria, Neural, Gomi, maybe even Liskarm, mm, probably not Liskarm, might be a little bit better. Let's play some Ifrit right over here. And it's just that, like, for all intents and purposes, I feel like any defender here would be good. The most important part of this composition is that you have an Ifrit and an AoE healer. Telopsis doesn't really help that much in terms of skill regeneration and stuff like that, in my opinion, in E1 level 40. And all you need is somebody like Perfumer, maybe a Nightingale at E140, or something like that. So let's still do the same thing. You see me use Plume, you can use Melantha, Scatty, um, Matoi Maru, or Franca. You can even use Vigna, or even Granny if you would like. Now do be careful if you do pop her skill too with Granny, because Granny does use does latch onto two different operators when you use skill two. Sorry, Granny latches onto two enemies if you use skill two, so that's something you have to watch out for. As usual, let's retreat Courier and let's continue. So now let's place down Mustima. And we're just going to do the same thing. Now, as for Mustima, honestly, with Mustima, although we used it for the CC, if you have good DPS, you generally won't need somebody else. You can actually get away with just using somebody like Kitano, if you would like, and using her skill too, something with burst, at the right time. Because you'll see that we don't use her skill at all, and she's just there for a little bit of extra damage the whole time. Our main DPSer is still going to be hit this whole time. So we're just going to time it correctly this time. Alright, Plume is able to be redeployed. And all we have to do is wait for these wolves to get attached right on. And we put Plume right down. There we go. We did it right this time. Now this is a little bit dicey over here because I want... There's going to be a lot of enemies right over here, so I'm going to press it right now. 
If it's somebody else, you can press it earlier. I'm also going to press Talapsis skill because the second mage is up. Retreat Plume because that mage is dead. And placed on Courier because I would like that extra block just in case any of the wolves pass by. You can see how Lycoria is taking a bunch of damage, right? Thankfully, Talopsis has her skill up and we're able to heal through it. By the time the caster gets to the front line over here, I think everybody else will be killed. Exactly. And that's how I cleared. Day 1, risk level 6 with Noe to Eunice. Again, this account is 17 days old, and I think I did a fairly good job on this. We just farm. And wait. GG. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope this proved to be useful to you. If it did, Hey, please, leave a like, subscribe, or maybe a comment down below. If it didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. Anyhow, I'll see you guys next time.